Hey there, this is Hilton here with Yellow Sky Actions, and today we're going to do a tutorial on how to use the grouper action within Photoshop Elements 6 through 10. And you know, the beauty of the grouper action is within the elements, without the grouper action, you're sort of limited because you have all these layers, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But you have all these layers, and it's great because you can customize everything you'd like if you want to tweak each layer up. But with the grouper action, it really increases your your workflow, it, and it you know you're able to work so much faster and more efficient with the grouper. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to quit blabbing. <laughs> so here we're going to start with the flower child. We're going to double click it. All right. So, without the grouper, it's great because you can adjust any layer you want. You know, whether it's level up, bright and crisp, all the color fills. But let's just say you want to run it, group it, and drop the opacity of the whole action. Well, now you can do that with a grouper. Double click the grouper. Takes a few seconds to load. Done. It's grouped. So the beauty of it is you can drop the opacity. You can mask it, especially if you have Photoshop Elements 9 and 10. I want to brush something off her face. Take just a little bit of the action off her face. Off of her clothes. All that good stuff. It just makes it it's simple, you know? Simple, increases your workflow. Um, you can't go wrong with it. So, that's the grouper, guys. I'm a big fan. I work with it all the time when I'm working within elements, and you should too. So, you guys have a great day. Thanks for listening. Talk to you.